I don't know about you, but I am pretty sure this offseason is shaping up to be one of the craziest yet with the most unexpected trades that we did not see coming. This is Sports Sector, and we are going to take a look at the biggest moves of the NFL offseason. First, we had a season totally canceled because of everything that's happening, and then Tom Brady decided to jump ship. The 43-year-old quarterback recently left the one team he is most associated with, the New England Patriots, after spending two decades with them. The six-time Super Bowl champ announced on March 17th in a statement that he was grateful for everything the Patriots had helped him achieve, and that he was leaving the Patriots after 20 years and was going to continue elsewhere in the NFL. Everyone was eager to know where exactly elsewhere would be, it didn't take long for everyone to kind of realize that the Buccaneers were honing in on this one, and they were right. Brady soon took to Instagram to share the news. He wrote, Excited, humble, and hungry. If there is one thing I have learned about football, it's that nobody cares what you did last year or the year before that. You earn the trust and respect of those around through your commitment every single day. I'm starting a new football journey and thankful for the Buccaneers for giving me an opportunity to do what I love to do. The quarterback reportedly signed a two-year no-trade contract with the Bucs at $50 million fully guaranteed, with $4.5 million a year up for grabs and incentives. Wide receiver Stephon Diggs has been with the Minnesota Vikings since he was drafted in the fifth round of the 2005 draft. Diggs, however, started to make his intentions of leaving the Vikings early this year. The wide receiver basically tweeted himself out of the team and onto another one with his cryptic tweets always hinting at a trade. There was a lot of drama between the player and the team and with Minnesota adamant on keeping him because the value was too good and so was he. They weren't going to trade a receiver of Diggs' skill, so he made it a point to frustrate them, visible frustration in the last season, skipping meetings and practice. Then he finally got his out. It turns out that the Vikings snagged the right kind of offer to let Diggs move on. They agreed to send him to the Buffalo Bills and a 2027th round pick for a first round pick, a 2025th rounder, a 2026th rounder, and a 2021 fourth round selection. The 26-year-old is a fierce competitor who loves being the guy, and with the Bills he would get to prove that he was more than just one half of the Diggs-Adam Thielen duo. 29-year-old cornerback Darius Slay finally gave the Eagles a real cornerback. The Eagles went a long way toward solving their cornerback question when they acquired one of the NFL's top cornerbacks and got him a massive new contract. The Eagles traded 2020 third round and fifth round picks for Slay, trading their own picks, numbers 85 and 166, not their compensatory picks. The pro baller was originally a second round pick from Mississippi in 2013 when Lions head coach was current Eagle defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz. The Eagles have been desperate for a real play making cornerback, but surprisingly kept quiet in the first few days of free agency. Now with Slay, they get a cornerback who might be a much better option than any of the free agents they could have found on the market. Wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins was caught in the middle of a very stunning trade. March saw an unbelievable trade made between the Cardinals and the Texans, with the Texans trading away what could have possibly been their second most valuable player, star wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins, in exchange for an often injured running back, David Johnson, and a second round pick in the process. Even for O'Brien, that was a pretty mind-bending thing to do. It was like slapping a B-plus on the Cardinals and then accepting a D-minus on Houston's part. Johnson should have had a negative trade value, especially since the Cardinals slapped a transition tag on Kenyon Drake. Johnson was three years removed from his only productive season yet. Former Rams running back Todd Gurley recently agreed to a one-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons after the Rams finally released him. There were times in his first five seasons where the 25-year-old was no doubt the league's best running back, exceeding 1,000 running yards three different times, 10 rushing touchdowns four times, and possibly over 500 receiving yards two times. The three-time Pro Bowler and two-time first-time All-Pro was named the 2015 Offensive Rookie of the Year and 2017 Offensive Player of the Year. He snagged his Rams contract extension in July of 2018 with a four-year $60 million deal. NFL insider Field Yates tweeted, In Todd Gurley's five seasons with the Rams, he was second in the NFL in rushing yards, 5,405, 
first in rushing touchdowns, 58, second in the NFL in yards from scrimmage, 7,494, and scored an NFL best 70 total touchdowns, an incredible run in LA. Gurley did have a good run with LA and his run in Atlanta would be something to look forward to. Quarterback Phillip Rivers was one of the 17 quarterbacks taken in the 2004 NFL Draft and was first drafted to the Giants before they traded him to the Chargers for Eli Manning. He has been a Charger since then until the 2019 season. In March, Rivers signed a one-year $25 million contract with the Indianapolis Colts when the negotiating window was opened. Rivers had a great time running with the Chargers, but the Colts have the capacity to offer a solid offense to protect him and give him enough cap space to improve their roster for a potential playoff run. For the first time in his NFL career, Rivers would be an unrestricted free agent. He just concluded the final year of his five-year $99 million contract, including $65 million guaranteed with a base salary of $11 million for the 2019 season. For former Jaguars defensive end Calais Campbell, he has found a new home with the Baltimore Ravens, sealed with a one-year extension on his 2020 fifth-round pick. The 33-year-old could be a natural fit for Ravens defense, and a reliable but versatile player which can be said of a lot of Ravens. Melvin Gordon, a trade for, has also been snagged. The Broncos were on the scoring end with this one, with the running back becoming a dynamic rusher for their backfield. Denver officially signed Gordon to a two-year, $16 million contract with $13.5 million guaranteed after he spent the first five years of his career with the Chargers, compiling three seasons with at least 1,000 and continuously crossing that barrier every year. With the anticipation and trade rumors surrounding Cleveland Browns wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. and his recent core muscle surgery, it is safe to say that the 27-year-old does not plan to leave the Browns anytime soon, as no deals or contracts have been signed just yet. He will most likely be sitting tight and remaining in Cleveland for the 2020 season. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe for more content from Sports Sector.